the Warcraft Bible. From outright murder to neglecting children just so you can socialize on World of Warcraft, today we count down the five most shocking deaths influenced by World of Warcraft. In number five, we have the story of Chuang. A teenager died at an internet cafe in Taiwan after reportedly playing the video game World of Warcraft for 40 hours straight. The 18 year old, who has only been identified by his first name, Chuang, had booked a private room at the Tainan Cafe in southern Taiwan on the afternoon of July 13th. According to the Australian, which cited the United Daily News broadsheet, Chuang then proceeded to play the video game for 40 hours straight without eating. On July 15, an attendant went to the room where Chuang had been playing and found the teen resting on the table. According to the Australian, the attendant was able to wake Chuang, who stood up, took a few steps, and then collapsed onto the ground. He was pronounced dead soon after arriving to the hospital. According to the Mirror, authorities believe that the teenager may have suffered a blood clot due to sitting for such a long period of time. Blizzard even made a response to his death, essentially telling people to keep WoW in moderation. Do you guys remember the loading screen quote from Blizzard saying, remember to take all things in moderation, even World of Warcraft? Yeah, that stemmed from the death of Chuang. Coming in at number 4, we have Gerald Spangenberg. Gerald Spangenberg, an avid World of Warcraft player, died while raiding with his WoW guild after getting into a heated argument during the raid. His cause of death was an abdominal aneurysm, presumably brought about by long periods of sitting at the computer, combined with the stress of the argument. After Gerald suddenly went silent during the raid, he was auto-logged out of the game after 10 minutes of inactivity and did not log in again. His guildies assumed that he was being childish and had deserted them, so they kicked him out of the guild and kept on raiding. It wasn't until three weeks later that they learned what happened from Gerald's daughter, and they felt really, really horrible about it. Coming in at number three, we have a New Mexico woman named Rebecca Colleen Christie, who was convicted of second degree murder and child abandonment and sentenced to 25 years in prison for allowing her three and a half year old daughter to die of malnutrition and dehydration while she was occupied with chatting and playing World of Warcraft online excessively. This woman was also charged with assault after stabbing her partner in the arm when she found out that the server she was playing on, Illidan, was down and she was unable to log in. Whoa, I don't even want to know how much she hates server restarts. And in number two, we have a 17 year old Filipino who beat his own grandmother to death in Quezon City, Philippines after she interrupted his World of Warcraft game and then proceeded to roast him for playing World of Warcraft. According to the respected Philippine newspaper, the Philippine Star, the boy had been playing World of Warcraft at a local internet cafe when his grandmother fetched him at approximately 6pm where he was forced to leave a raid already underway. The kid then allegedly snapped while his grandmother was roasting him for playing and killed her out of spite. In the same month, an 11 year old boy was killed after hacking his friend's WoW account. And finally, we have a young girl from Beijing, nicknamed Snowly. She died after playing the online game World of Warcraft for several continuous days during the National Day holiday. Snowly's friends who share the same game community, say that she was a very diligent member and a key official of their community who was always connected to the internet. Several days before Snowly's death, the gamer was said to be preparing for a relatively difficult part of the game, the final boss, Nefarian and Blackwing Lair, and had very, very little rest. She told her friends that she felt very tired, but sadly passed away before anyone could do anything about it. A big online funeral was held for her one week after her death, but the event was sadly overshadowed by the death of another game enthusiast, nicknamed Thereafter. Several online game communities have posted announcements to urge their members to pay attention to their health. Meanwhile, seven major domestic game makers have agreed to install an anti-obsession system on 11 
online game products. Well, that is going to conclude the video for today. I hope you guys did all enjoy it. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, and comment if I've missed any, or if there are any I've missed that you think should be on this countdown. Thank you all for your continued support. As always, this has been the Warcraft Bible. Stay devoted.